Hello and welcome to part 11, group K. That's a letter you don't hear very often in international competitions. And there's a French team in there. And that's why I'm wearing the World Cup winning France jersey that I have. But surprisingly, the French team is not the top team. It's not even the second team. We will go to Eastern Europe for that. We will go a lot to Eastern Europe in this group, except for the one French team, which is actually in Western France and hanging there. Get to it soonish. But we'll start off with a real European powerhouse um, that, as of late, is probably because the Ukrainian league is not as strong anymore, has a little bit gone down. But Dynamo Kiev is one of the big names of Soviet soccer and I think of Eastern European soccer overall. I think an argument could be made that they're probably the biggest Eastern European team. They have two European Cup trophies to their uh, credit. And in '99, I still maintain they should have beaten Bayern in the semi-final and should have made it to the final. They're now supplied by New Balance as well. And New Balance gave them actually a quite classic looking Dynamo shirt. Uh, white with blue accents and this um, diamond crest. I have nothing to complain. Uh, is it the most exciting? No. Does it look good? Yes. Eight stars. Even better though, I like the away jersey, which is just blue, but I love the color. It looks so old fashioned. And that is a good thing. I uh, like the white sleeve cuffs. Uh, yes, the crest gets a little bit lost, but it's always, always to be on a, on a blue kit. So yeah, uh, this is another really outstanding kit. I even want to go, just for the super retro look, I want to go 10 stars here. I really, really like that one. And then, no, we're not going for the west, we're going even for the east. We're going to Kazakhstan all the way to Astana which play, of course, in the Kazakh national colors. Um, if you've ever seen the Kazakh national flag, it's one of my favorites with the stylized eagle on there and the a tribal pattern, uh, which is blue, light blue, and the eagle is in gold. And here it's kind of reversed. Um, but I like this pattern on the lower left, which I guess it's a sun or art, is it fields? Whatever it is, I think it makes a nice accent. Um, the sponsor fits also color-wise in. The logo is of the, the club crest is a little bit boring, uh, but the colors make a lot of sense. I have reason to believe that the color of this shirt is also a uh, crew neck. We'll see the next two jerseys, it's a crew neck in light blue. Um, there's a lot to like about this one, uh, and for that reason, I think I'm gonna give this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wanna give this eight stars. I actually really like that one. Uh, the away jersey is just uh, flipping the colors, but although this is more like the Casa colors, it somehow doesn't look as good to me. I'm sorry to say. I think the light blue and the yellow. Um, <laughs> Other than that, it's the same jersey. Uh, I really think that the... No, nah, it doesn't have the side strapping, but it's pretty much uh, the same jersey. Uh, I'm gonna give this... And don't ask me why, just uh, how I feel. Seven stars on this one. And then the third jersey is again our favorite Adidas template. Sun is gone. It's just white with all these weird checkerboards on there. Uh, well, shall I say light gray, and then you have a white color. Very boring, but also nothing offensive. And for that reason, I give this five stars. And now we get to France to start the Rennes, which I have the scarf hanging back there. Got it at the stadium back in 2000. Um, Rennes is, of course, uh, supplied by Puma. I'm not so sure about this huge sponsor, but I think overall I like what they're doing here. And do you see what they do in this list with the two strokes? If Milan would do something like that and let it go across the chest, I would like it a lot. Um, I also like that it kind of references, but not really, the 1984 France kit and the 1998 France kit with the red stripe and the three white. You have a little bit thicker stripe running across the chest in kind of uh, dark red, and then you have a few more going. I think it gives the shirt a nice structure. I would of course like that the color goes around, but it doesn't look all that bad. I gave this eight stars. Gonna stick with that. 
But I like the away jersey even better. And now, since I have the scarf here, I can actually, you see that the pattern on the bottom of the shirt is pretty much this one and then inverted. I really like this touch. It's typically Bretagne. I again wish that the color would go all around, but I like how it's the red and black. You have the red and black sleeve cuffs on. That is a simple shirt, sponsor in black, and this nice pattern. Nine stars. Milan should have done something similar, maybe without the pattern, but find something else. Then would be great. And then finally in this group, we go to the Czech Republic, to Jablonets, which again have this uh, Nike template from past seasons for home, but it's uh, in green with darker green shoulders. I think I overall like it. Is it the most exciting one? As usual, no, but I think overall it looks quite good. And Similar to Akisa Sport, it makes a lot of sense. I give this seven stars and I know that the away jersey is black, uh, also using similar template, but like uh, using the Ajax number black with a dark gray center stripe, which looks a little odd to be honest, but overall I think also nothing too wrong with it. I'm gonna give this six stars. Well, that was Group K. Let me know which jerseys you like, uh, whether you agree with my assessment. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. I will talk to you soon. Bye.